back to SciTitech. In this video, I'm going to show you to make homemade distilled water with using a simple distillation process. Let's get started. I have right here a TDS meter. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids, and I'm going to use this meter to test my experiments. I want to see if I can be able to make pure distilled water from using regular tap water. I have right here in this jug pure distilled water that I bought from the grocery store, and I want to see how pure the commercial brand really is. I'm going to pour some of it inside of this beaker. There we go, just like that. And I'm going to go and take my TDS meter, and I want to test and see how pure the commercial brand really is. There we go, place it in just like that. And as you can see, the commercial brand is actually pure distilled water. Okay, that'll be my control test. I have right here in my beaker some tap water. Let's see how many total dissolved solids are in tap water. So far, it looks pretty high. Wiggle it around a little bit. Press hold. And there, here are the results. As you can see, it's 356 parts per million. Wow, that's a lot of dissolved solids in tap water. Next, I need to take my tap water and place it inside of my distillation apparatus to create pure distilled water. I want to see if it matches the commercial brand. So first, I need to go and separate the connections just like this. Move it over to the side. and pour in my tap water. I'm going to use a funnel and pour in the tap water into my Florence flask. There we go. Should look just like this. And now connect everything back together. Plug in my water pump and now go to my heating mantle and crank up the heat to maximum. 20 minutes later, I have some boiling water. Now let's see what the temperature looks like. And as you can see, it's 100 degrees Celsius, which means now I'm collecting steam. And as you can see, my water is boiling, creating steam. Steam is now being condensed by my Liebig condenser. Liebig condenser is now condensing the steam back into liquid, and now liquid is now dripping into my beaker and I'm now collecting the distillates. 30 minutes later, my beaker is full, and I've distilled all of the water. Now let's go ahead and test it out and see how many total dissolved solids are in this. Take my TDS meter, turn it on, and let's test the water. And there we have it. It is now two parts per million. Big difference compared to 356. And as you can see, I have a chart right here. And this zero parts per million is the store brand, which is the control. 356 parts per million is my tap water. And now my homemade distilled water is two parts per million. So as you can see, that's what my results are by doing one round. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and pour the distilled water that I created Pour it back into my Florence flask and repeat the process a second time. Just like this. Put everything back together. Crank up the heat and wait for it to boil and recondense. And there we go, it is now recondensed, just like that. And there we go, now let's go ahead and take my TDS meter, and let's see what the new results are on my second run. Wiggle it around a little bit, to be sure that the contacts are contacting. And as you can see, it is zero parts per million. I officially made pure distilled water, exactly like what you would buy at the store, except this one is homemade. And there, here are my final results. Zero parts per million from store brand. 356 parts per million from my tap water. 
and then distilled once, it became two parts per million, and then distilled a second time, it became zero parts per million. And as you can see, making double distilled water from your tap can equal to what you would buy in the store. It just takes a little bit more time and patience, but it will save you money. And there you have it. Now you know how to make homemade distilled water. This process took two runs to make the same as what you'd buy in a store, and it came out just the same. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.